You can reuse existing CAD data and model over top. CAD data is placed as an underlay by default, so it makes it easy to see what you have and have not yet traced. There are two methods to tracing. You can sketch by drawing point to point over the existing CAD data, or you can use the pick lines option. In the data set, there is a floor plan of an existing building which we will use as an underlay to build our Revit model geometry on top. Hover over the CAD link until it pre-highlights, then pick. On the contextual ribbon, choose Query. The Import Instance Query dialog box will display information about entities that you pick. You will see what type of object you selected and what layer it is on. If you wish, you can hide those particular layers in the current view, or you may delete the layers from Revit. If the file is a link, this will not affect the original DWG. Delete simply means that Revit will hide those elements in every view and not consider them in its database. I'll delete the wall component layers and anything else that might get in my way. If you're trying to match the thickness of the walls in a CAD file, you can use from the Modify ribbon bar, the Measure panel, the Measure tool. On the Home ribbon, Build panel, click on the Wall tool and set the Location line to Wall Center line. Choose a wall type or duplicate one that is set to the desired width. Notice the wall tool will automatically find the center of two very close parallel lines, such as those in the CAD file representing the wall edges. Don't worry about modeling all the collinear segments. You can also pick points. When using the lines option, you can sketch. If walls change thickness while maintaining a face, you can set the location line to a finish face side and either sketch the walls or use the pick lines tool. Revit will snap to the CAD line endpoints and midpoints while you sketch. Use the trim tool on the modify ribbon to clean the intersections and when you are ready, select the CAD import symbol and move it to the foreground by adjusting its draw layer parameter in the properties palette. Note this is only available when the DWG is truly a 2D import symbol. A link or import must be brought in with the option of current view only enabled. Otherwise you could simply set your visual style temporarily to wireframe. You can now easily see where to insert doors and windows. If you pick the door tool and place a door, you can use the align tool on the modify ribbon to place accurately to the CAD geometry.